Hello and welcome back. So we're going to start off with learning about what is the develop project team process. As a project manager, it is important to ensure that you have a high performing project team. You can ensure that your team is high performance by constantly improving the skills, knowledge, teamwork, and motivation levels of your project team. If you have a project team that is delivering high performance and is working well together, then this can also result in a decreased turnover. So what are some of the tools and techniques in which you can actually develop your project team? So first are team building activities. Since it is important for your team members to work well together, you can actually take them for dinners or lunches or you can also have them play sports together. So any activity in which you can actually get the team to get to know each other better, that is good for the project team's performance. Secondly, you can send your project team members for training in order to get them upgraded on the latest skills. Thirdly is co-location. By having all of the members of your project team in the same place and working on the project together, this can actually improve the performance of the team. And this is because then there would be lesser information gaps and miscommunication. And finally, our rewards and recognition. So you can have specific rewards for the achievement of KPIs and milestones on the project. By giving rewards and recognition to the team members, this can help in improving their performance and so this can be one of the key aspects in keeping the team motivated. Next is the manage project team process. Simply speaking, this process is all about the day-to-day -day management of the people who are working on the project. So as the project manager, you need to track the performance of the project team. And then based on the performance of the team members, you need to give them feedback. Also, you will resolve any issues within the team if there are any conflicts. And finally, in case there are any changes required, you will implement them in order to make sure that you're optimizing and improving the team's performance. So the managed project team process is all about managing the project team in order to deliver a high performance level. And lastly is the control resources process. As the project manager, you need to manage the physical resources and materials which are being used on the project. And so it is your responsibility to make sure that the right resources, tools, and machinery is available at the right time, the right place, and in the right quantity for the project team to use. Another aspect of this process is that it helps you as a project manager to evaluate how many physical resources were planned to be used on the project and how many did you actually end up using. So the control resources process can help you in terms of monitoring the cost of the resources which you've used on the project and it can also help you in keeping the expenditure in check. Okay, that's it about resource management. You guys are doing an excellent job, so keep going and I'll see you in the next video.